Hey guys, it's Mad Morta, and in this video I'm going to be going over the latest project that I've completed. This here is a GameCube controller keychain. You can see it says Nintendo GameCube on it. And I bought this at GameStop for about 7 bucks. There's a whole series of them. There's an N64 controller, uh, Game Boy Advance, the original Game Boy, 3DS, all sorts of stuff. So. I looked at this and I said, I can fit a working GameCube into here. So right next to it here is an actual working GameCube. So you can kind of tell in terms of size, they're really small. So here it is sitting on my hand and here it is next to a actual GameCube controller. So in order to get this open, I used a guitar pick because they have actual screw posts inside of here and if you wedge a guitar pick in there then you can kind of pry it open. So all of the buttons on the keychain are pressable but it's all kind of one button. When you press down on this all of them go down. And it does have joysticks but there's nothing making them spring back to neutral position. They're just able to move around. The D-pad is one button. The start is the same button as A, B, X, Y. The L and R buttons don't push at all. They're molded right into the plastic. And same with Z. So on my GameCube controller, I kept all of the original A, B, X, Y buttons, the, the actual joystick caps. Um, I mean, you can tell that they, they do spring back. Um, and the only thing that I changed were was the start button because I actually lost that. Um, the L and R buttons, which now move, they're 3D printed. I just drummled out the part where they used to be and I 3D printed my own little thing. And the Z button is also 3D printed. Um, these are dual tact modded, so you can squish it and then you can click it. There's a squish and a click, so analog and then the digital press. So full GameCube controller compatibility. The only thing that this does not have that a real GameCube controller would have is Rumble. And Rumble would fit. I looked at it and you can fit a Wii Rumble motor in here very, very easily. It fits right in the handles here. But since I'd already started this project when I found my Rumble motor, um, I didn't put it in, but in the next one I will put dual rumble motors in the handles. Um, so this is just kind of the first one. You can tell I didn't really tell, I didn't really care a whole lot because I painted the start button the wrong color gray. I was just kind of wanting to get it done to see how it felt, how it worked, what issues. Um, I do plan on making a full set of these. So. The reason that the cable is so short is that I'm actually going to be playing it with a controller extender cable. Um, it's like maybe a yard long and I've got a whole bunch of them. So this way I can actually keep the the keychain thing by putting a female GameCube controller port on my backpack. I can still clip it onto my backpack like it's a keychain except that it actually works as a GameCube controller as well. You just need the extender for it or you can play really up close. It's up to you. Um, so I guess I will get into a demo of it. Okay, so here I have Super Mario Sunshine pulled up. And this is a level where you get to use a jetpack, but it's still one of the harder levels. And I picked it because I wanted to show off that this is an actual usable GameCube controller. Okay, so hopefully that was enough to see that you do have, you know, the full 
scope of what a GameCube controller can do. Obviously, I wouldn't use it to play Smash Bros, but in terms of, you know, even, you know, games like this where you need to have really tight controls. See, I can stand here and, I'm sorry, I can run around and shoot, and if I click it all the way, then I can stand and shoot. So I do have the full analog. Come back here, guy. I guess I'll just chase him. So used to A being talk for everything. So you can see that it's totally playable, um, but I'm really happy with it and I will make another video once I've got a better one with Rumble and I'll show that off and hopefully I'll play this enough that I'll figure out what kind of improvements I want to make, but I'm very happy with it. So thank you guys for watching.